We see a lot of people talking about the FFAR1 taking the number one spot for the new meta weapon inside Warzone. In this video, we're going to break down the stats for the FAR and compare it against a lot of the other fast killing weapons in the game to see if it actually is one of the meta guns now that the DMR and the MAC-10 have had a nerf. If you enjoy videos like this, weapon comparisons, weapon stat breakdowns and also overall tips and tricks for Warzone, as we want to reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers very soon. The FAR is a great weapon for Warzone and we have just included it in our top 5 best loadouts video as well. And one of the main reasons it stands out is because it has one of the fastest time to kills in the entire game for fully automatic weapons. But we have a lot of fast killing guns inside Warzone and they haven't taken the meta yet, so what is special about the FFAR1? The next section of this video is taken from TrueGameData.com, so the link for their website will be down in the description below. But what I want to show you here is this is all the fastest time to kill weapons on the screen just now. And this is all the fully automatic guns. We're not talking about semi-automatic and we're not talking about shotguns. But what I want to show you here is this blue line is actually the FFAR1. And in terms of time to kill, it sits between the ASVAL, which is this green line, and this pink line, which is the AMAX. So up close, it actually kills faster than the AMAX but not quite as fast as the AS Val. We all know the AS Val shreds up close and this has a time to kill of 407 milliseconds. Now all of these other lines up here, these are all of the SMGs that kill the fastest in the game. So we've got the Cold War MP5, which is the fastest killing SMG inside Warzone at the moment. Then we've got the Modern Warfare MP5, which is the Cyan line. And then we've got the MAC-10, which is the orange line. So we want to get rid of anything that's not going to be as competitive to the FFAR1. And then what we can see here is that the Cold War MP5 is still not as good as the FFAR1 up close. So we can get rid of that as well. And then what we're left with is the AMAX, the FFAR and the ASVAL. And as we can see, the ASVAL kills the absolute fastest. But one thing you need to keep in mind here is that if you're using one of these three guns at close range, you don't get the overall benefit of the mobility you would get with an SMG. So you're not going to be moving as fast with any of these three guns as you would with an MP5 or a MAC-10. So that is a really important factor you do need to consider inside your playstyle. But if you can get over the fact that you're not going to be moving as fast with one of these guns than you would with an SMG, then we'll take a look at the following four guns. First, we have this AS Val build, which is built to be similar to an SMG. Then we have the Meta CR56 AMAX. Then we have the overall best class setup for the FFAR1. And finally, we're going to compare it to the Cold War MP5 just to see how it stacks up against SMGs. Now, you might not agree 100% with these builds, but this is what I think will be most popular for each of these different weapons. Because we're not trying to do an apples to apples comparison here, what we're trying to do is compare the FFAR1 to other weapons that it's similar to in terms of time to kill, and then also give it the correct build of how you would actually use this gun. You're not going to stack your FFAR1 with all SMG-like attachments because you're not going to get the most out of the gun, plus the attachments don't work the best that way anyways. Because most of the Cold War attachments are broken, but instead what we're trying to compare here is that if you can fit this FFAR1 into a class setup, where would you fit it into? Because there is still place for the MP5, for the AS Val, and for the CR56 AMAX. And of course, when considering any weapon, you of course need to take into account the recoil pattern for all of the guns. So for consistency, we kept the colors the same as the True Game Data website. So the FAR is on the very left in blue. The AMAX is in pink, which is the lighter pink. Then we have the Cold War MP5, which is in the kind of second pink color. And then we have the AS Val in green. Here is where we will learn exactly what ranges these guns are useful for. And the first thing we can notice is that the AMAX is definitely built for long range. It has by far the most easiest recoil pattern and also is going to be more easier to control at those longer distances. The Cold War MP5 looks pretty straightforward, but trust me when I say this, the Cold War MP5 has one of the worst recoil patterns in the entire game. It climbs up high so quickly, it's really hard to control. And I've tried my best to find the best attachments to control this as much as possible, and you've seen that earlier on with the MP5 build, but still it has a ridiculously high recoil pattern. 
The AS Val is actually not too bad. It's just that you run out of ammo so quickly with that gun. It's ridiculous. For the far, it does have a lot of vertical recoil, which is very easy to manage. It does have some horizontal recoil, but nowhere near as close as it does with the base FFAR. So this class setup is definitely the best for controlling recoil. So similar to the Amax, if you just pull down on your analog stick, you should be landing consistent shots with the FFAR one. From the recoil chart, the FAR has the second best recoil pattern on the screen, second to only the Amax, which is built for longer ranges. And from the time to kill chart from earlier on, it actually had the second best time to kill after the AS Val up close, and that makes it much better than the MP5. The last thing we need to consider here is the magazine size as well as reload times for all of these guns. And keep in mind, this is with all the attachments stacked on the gun. So for the FFAR1, the largest possible mags you can get is 50 rounds. The reload time on the salvo mags is 2.2 seconds and it fires at a 900 rounds per minute fire rate. The Amax has 45 bullets in a mag, it reloads at 2.25 seconds and it fires at 630 rounds per minute. And this rate of fire is what makes the Amax much easier to control at those longer distances, whereas the FAR is quite difficult to control. The Cold War MP5 also has 50 bullets in a mag. The Salvo mags reload slower than the FFAR1 Salvo mags, and the rate of fire is 854 rounds per minute. The AS Val has 30 bullets in a mag, which is the least out of all the guns on screen just now. However, it does have the faster reload time out of all the guns on screen just now and also it fires at 885 rounds per minute. The reason I included fire rate here is because I wanted to show exactly how fast you'll be burning through ammo with each one of these guns. The Amax will definitely be the slowest and that is why it has the smallest mags. But for the other three guns, they all burn through ammo very quickly. So you want to make sure you can reload the quickest and you can also have the largest mags possible. And the FFAR1 has the best balance of both. Considering the fact that the CR-56 Amax is mainly used for long range, we only need to consider three guns here, the FFAR-1, the Cold War MP5, and the AS Val. Putting this all together now, the Cold War MP5 kills the slowest out of all three of these guns, so you're definitely better off choosing the FAR or the AS Val. Then if you're trying to compare the AS Val to the FAR, both have a similar recoil pattern which kicks vertically upwards, but if you're trying to control them, the FAR seems to be the easiest to control. And lastly, since both of these guns fire close to 900 rounds per minute, you're going to be better off with the FFAR1 because you get 50 bullets in a magazine. In my opinion, the FFAR1 is the best close range weapon in all of Warzone right now. It's got a good balance in terms of reload times, magazine, rate of fire and time to kill. The only thing it's lacking is overall mobility which you would get with an SMG. But again, you need to factor that in because this is an assault rifle. So these are all the reasons why a lot of people love using this gun. So with all of these stats now, let me know what you think about the FFAR1 down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, leave us a like as it helps us get recommended more. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe as we're trying to reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers. And thank you very much for watching.